Hi guys, today we are going to create a membership directory with Profile Press. To begin, we'll hover over Profile Press on the left, then we'll click on Membership Directory. And we already have one item here, but we are going to create a new one. We'll click on Add New, and we'll go ahead and name it. I'll call mine Test Directory. Now from here, we'll select one of these templates. I'll use the second one. And that should take us to the builder. All right, so here we have the default fields for our membership directory. We can go ahead and delete what we don't need. So for example, I'll delete biography. Now from the standard fields menu on the right, we can drag the fields that we want to include in our directory. So right now I have website, display name, email address. And if you want also, you can add a custom field. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and rearrange the ones that I have already included. All right, that looks good. So now we can move down to directory settings. Under appearance, we can go ahead and choose the rules that we want to display in our directory. For example, we'll display admins, editors, authors, and maybe contributors. But in your case, you can display any user rule that you want. Now in the next two fields, Profile Press gives you the option to either include or exclude specific users by entering their user ID. And the final option lets you enable a profile picture. I'll keep this on as well. Now the next tab we have is sorting. And in this tab, you'll have an option to choose the sorting method for your members. You also have the option to set up custom sorting by checking this box. You'll see an option to choose the sorting method fields. Now moving on to the next tab, you'll see options to customize your search and filter settings. So here you have the option to add or remove search fields such as email address, website, display name, and so on. And if you want to, you can enable and add filters. Now under results and pagination, you have options to only display results after a search. You can choose the number of members per page. Right now it's set to nine by default. And we also have fields to add results text, single result text and no result text. Now moving on, we have the colors tab where we can choose specific colors for specific parts of our membership directory. So once you're done with your configurations, go ahead and click on save changes. Now let's also go ahead and copy the shortcode for our membership directory and we'll create a new page as well. I'll do this in a new tab. Now let's name the page. I'll call my membership directory and I'll paste the shortcode in the next line. All right, now we need to publish the page. We need to click on publish twice and once it's done, we can click on view page. So here's our membership directory and we can see two out of three users on our website. Now, based on the fields we chose, we can see the profile image, the name, email, and the website in the form of a hyperlink, which we can open in a new tab. But of course, this isn't a real website, so I'll just go ahead and close this. And I'll just jump to the users page in WordPress to show you that this user was not displayed because it's a subscriber. Remember the subscriber role was not included in our profile press membership directory settings. So based on the users we have, only the administrator and editor will be displayed. All right, so I really hope this helps. Thank you for watching and see you next time.